Hello everyone, this is Empress Pamela. Welcome to this edition of Healing Through Writing. Today we're doing prompts 386 through 388. This is take two, by the way. I was just talking and looked down and saw that I wasn't recording, so it happens to the best of us. Yes. Okay, I'm going to read each prompt twice, and then I'm going to share with you my response just for shits and giggles. And this is part of my healing journey. So we're in this together, guys. All right. Prompt number 386. Describe your perfect room with a view. Did you ever see that movie? I did. It was really good. Describe your perfect room with a view. Prompt number 386. My perfect room with a view will always have a body of water. It is the scene I visualize in my mind of my bedroom in my dream beach house. I open the French doors of my bedroom and walk onto the expansive deck, large enough for two chairs, excuse me, two chaise lounge chairs, a bistro table with two stools, and a hot tub. Tropical palm trees are swaying as the sounds, sights, and scents of the ocean Immerse my entire being. Prompt number 387. Name a category or criteria all major beauty pageants should have, but don't. Prompt number 387. Name a category or criteria all major beauty pageants should have, but don't. I haven't watched a beauty pageant in years, so I'm not sure how they've been modernized or adapted to be more socially acceptable. But since beauty comes from within and beauty is in the eye of the beholder, I would like the contestants to talk about their journey to self-love and self-acceptance and what is motivating them to compete in the pageant. Yeah. I don't know if that's still a thing, but surely I was, surely don't call me Shirley. I was raised in the era of, I think it was Bill Parks. I don't know, Bill Parks. Um, who was the other person? Burt Parks, maybe it was. Miss America, Miss USA, blah, 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 all that stuff. And yeah, that was back when women were really, really not recognized as being equal to men. So it was a whole different era. I, again, I don't, I don't know, but you know what, as I was thinking about the question the second time before reading my answer, I thought, oh, how come we never had male beauty pageants, right? Wouldn't that be an interesting thing? Maybe we should start having male beauty pageants just to see how the men would react being treated like, um, you know, that. anyway, that's going on a tangent, but wouldn't that be interesting? Anyway, let's get to the next prompt. I, I don't know that I didn't really like that prompt, I think, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, prompt number 388. But see, I don't want to brush over that because maybe that is something that needs to be explored within me, the topic of beauty or being valued for one's beauty. And then if you don't love yourself, do you not have any value? I mean, this whole thing, this is part of why we write. We come to figure out ourselves, right? I guess, or we end up with more questions about ourselves. Okay, prompt number 388. You are opening a traveling circus. A traveling circus. Describe your featured acts and their talents. Prompt number 388. I don't know why I feel like I the just the term politically 
incorrect just came to mind, but let's go with it, okay? Prompt number 388. You are opening a traveling circus. Describe your featured acts and their talents. Okay, I'm going to talk after I read. Here's my response. My traveling circus would inspire each audience with their physical and acrobatic contortions, grace of movement, and cast of characters. I would include approachable domestic pets, spiritual gurus and yogis, and even mediums and tarot readers. My traveling circus would focus on healing body, mind, and soul. Okay. Yeah, I feel like... um well, other than the room with the view, but the last two prompts were like politically incorrect or have evolved in that way. And as I was um, thinking about the circus prompt, excuse me, I was thinking about all those animals over the years that have been basically treated like objects, like the women have in the beauty pageants. Wow. And how it's just not cool to treat animals a certain way, let's just say. I don't know. This is kind of weird. It's like controversial. So I'm going on a tangent, but this is me. And um, if we take a higher look at this, these are an examination of core beliefs of programming, of things that we've experienced in our lives. And it is a part of us. However, we respond to these questions or ideas. So I applaud you for mustering up the courage to respond in whatever way you do. If there's an opportunity or desire to expound on any of these prompts, please do it. Who knows? Write a short article, submit it to a magazine or newspaper or submit it online, something like that. Yeah. Everyone's a writer. Everyone's a creator. So everyone has a story to tell. We are all in this together and I love you so much. Take care.